So hi, uh, we're back again. Uh, my name is Carlos Brand uh, from ACIT Driving School. I'm here with Mandeep Burmi. Hello. And we're in Millwoods, in the Millwoods area, Millwoods uh, neighborhood in Edmonton, Alberta. And we're gonna be talking a little bit about um, driving in residential areas. Okay, sounds good. So let's get going. Yeah. Checking on both sides. Oh, there is a car coming, so we're gonna wait. And that's where you have to. Well, yes, check on and both re sides. remember one thing: when you're backing up, you have no right of ways. You know, you should be yielding to everybody. Don't expect people to stop for you because they don't have to stop. Okay. So um, it's important to understand the rules and regulations. That way, you know, you have less problems on the road, and don't expect things. Um, so remember, you have no right of ways when you are backing up. So when you're turning right. When you're turning Yes, when right. you're turning right, if there is an obstruction within 50 meters or half a block. The reason why I say 50 meters or half a block, because a normal size city block is 100 meters long. Mm -hmm. So if we talk about a half a block, we're talking about 50 meters. Now, not all the blocks are 100 meters. I mean, you know, this is what you find usually in a downtown area kind of thing. Not so much in the neighborhood. But uh, so that's the uh, sort of the, the guideline, right? 50 meters. Yes. Yeah, any more than 50 meters, it should be uh, turning into the right lane, then changing lanes. Um, it is important uh, to understand that if you can judge a distance very well, is uh, to turn into the right lane and change lanes over. And that's, that's okay, that is acceptable. But what is not acceptable if you're turning into the other lane when you should have turned into the first available lane. Yes. Okay, we'll be turning left at the next set of traffic lights. So we need to change lanes. Even though there's no lines painted here, there's lanes of uh, traffic. So change lanes to the left lane, and Always prepare yourself ahead of time. Never wait until the last second to do any any changing. So we need to change lanes to ahead of time. Don't wait until the last second. So we check for traffic, it's clear. And I don't need to stop because it's empty. That is correct, there's nobody to yield to. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna be turning left at the, um, at the traffic lights here. And this set of traffic lights here are called pedestrian lights or bus lights. They only go on when a pedestrian presses the button, they turn red, or when there's a bus coming. They have a, a system that uh, makes the light uh, turn green for the, I mean red, uh, to stop the traffic so they can actually turn. Okay, good to know. They're not regular traffic lights. They don't uh, automatically turn red. They just stay green unless uh, a pedestrian uh, presses the button or the bus is coming. You know, so remember, there is this road is narrow, but there is actually four lanes of traffic. Um, the lane where the vehicles, you see some vehicles parked, that's the right hand lane or the curb lane. The lane that we're driving in right now is called the left lane. The other side of the road, there is also two lanes of traffic. Even though there's no lines painted on the road, we still have lanes of traffic. So what defines a lane of traffic again is the space that you have to drive in. It's not the lines painted on the road. And now the speed limit here is maximum 30? That is correct. This is called this is uh, considered a playground zone. There is a sign, a uh, black and white sign. So it's a regulation sign telling you that you have to go 30 kilometers an hour from 7.30 a.m. until 2100 hours, that is 9 p.m. at night. And that is every day of the year. So. All year round, 365 days of the year, they are in effect. Okay. So let's now practice some left and right turns. Sure. We're going to do a left turn coming up here. Uh, make sure you check your rear mirror before you, you slow down to check what's behind you. Then put your left signal on already, um, 30 meters approximately before the, the turn. Um, now, when you turn left, um, avoid 
cutting the corner. What cutting the corner is uh, starting your turn too soon. So basically, cutting the corner is driving on top of the oncoming traffic lane as you're turning. That is uh, it's a really bad habit. It's dangerous. Uh, it will cost you 10 points, 10 demerits against your roll test. Uh, make sure you move into the intersection a little bit, you know, into the intersection, so towards the middle, not quite to the middle, because you don't want to square your turn too much. Yes. And you commence your turn from that point, but not a, don't start turning left from the edge Going of the road. From stop sign? Yeah, so now we're going to be making a left turn at this corner coming up. Now, this corner is also considered an uncontrolled intersection. You know what? Let's stop here for a second before we turn. You can put your left signal on and don't, don't just stop right where you are. Okay. We don't have anybody behind us, so we can talk quickly about the uncontrolled intersection. You notice that there's no signs anywhere here. Yes. So it's called an uncontrolled intersection. So who has the right of way at an uncontrolled intersection, Mandeep? I don't know. The person that's on the right of the other person. If two people arrive at the same time, the person to the right will have the right of way. Okay. Okay. Um, at an uncontrolled intersection. So, no signs, nothing controlling the intersection. Okay. Uh, it's clear, so we can go. Now, the way to approach an uncontrolled intersection is you should always slow down a little bit. You don't have to stop unless you have to yield to somebody. But you need to slow down and check for traffic. This could be an automatic fail in your road test if you don't slow down and check for traffic. Or if you fail to yield the right of way to the person on the right is considered an automatic fail. That's a critical mistake. We also have another uncontrolled intersection coming up here. So we're gonna slow down a little bit, check for traffic. Nobody, because if somebody's coming from the right, they would have to right away over you. It has nothing to do with going straight. Okay. Okay. Whether you're going straight or not, it doesn't really matter at an uncontrolled intersection. Yeah, no, there's another one. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make a right turn at the uh, corner coming up. So we need to angle in front of the parked vehicle here to make a proper right turn. There's nobody in the right lane here, so we're going to take the right lane or the curb lane. And then we're going to switch lanes over to the left so we can pass this car that is parked here into the left lane. So anytime you need to pass a vehicle, it's a lane change because a lane only fits one vehicle. You don't fit two vehicles in one lane of traffic. So whenever you pass a vehicle that is parked, it's a lane change. Whether you have lines painted or not, like I mentioned earlier before, it doesn't really matter. There's still lanes of traffic. And after the parked car, do I go back and No, right you can no. stay in the you left can, lane. I can stay yes. in the okay. Unless you need to turn right, you yes. know, then you would change lanes back to the right lane. But you can stay in this lane. It's really your preference, right? I mean, it's, you're not obligated to stay in this lane. You can also change lanes back and stay in the right lane. It's really up to you. Okay. And this yellow sign means stop sign is coming up? That is correct. Any sign in yellow is a warning sign. So it's warning you of something. It's not the regulations. It's not what you have to do at the moment. It's telling you something is coming up that you need to be concerned about. 